finally I feel that the people in this country have, uh, have decided for a change. This country has tremendous potential. It's full of minerals. It's, it's one of the most fertile lands. People are vibrant. <laughs> Talented people. Corruption is destroying the country. We've reached a point where the country is now uh, going to become a failed state unless we do something. Some 15 years back, or 16 years back, I came to the conclusion uh, that if Pakistan was my home, I had to fight for it. There were awful moments during these 15 years, some of the worst uh, uh, you know, times where there were only five or six active members left. If it was a political career, maybe I would have given up, but this is, this is always a mission. <laughs> the decision has already been made by the youth of Pakistan. It's what's called the tipping point. It is the point where now politics will change in Pakistan. It's already changing. <laughs> Lahore is the political capital of Pakistan. When Lahore changes, Pakistan changes. Um, and for people of Lahore to come out, it's very difficult. And once they come out, you know that the that a change has taken place. It never occurred to me ever the idea of giving up. It just never even entered my mind. It's like when I decided to become a test cricketer at the age of nine, and it never occurred to me I would not become one. It was not a question of if, it was a question of when. Sports teaches you to struggle. That's the greatest lesson sports gives you. It teaches you how to cope with the bad times. A champion is not one who wins all the time. A champion becomes a champion when he's down on the mat, how he picks himself up. a point where you suddenly see victory uh, within your sights. So I have never felt this in my bones as I do now. I feel that now none of these political mafias cannot stop our party.